This tutorial will show you how to use the Immersive Reader tool in Canvas. To begin, navigate to any content page in your course, and in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the Immersive Reader button. Click the button to open the Immersive Reader. Your text will load within the reader. To have the text read aloud, you'll click the green play button at the bottom of the screen. You can adjust the voice settings by clicking on the speaker with the gear and choosing a different voice speed or selection of male or female voice. When you click play, the screen reader will read the text. 1.1 Introduction The Characteristics of Genre What is leader? As a student in any English course, you will repeatedly come across the word literature. As you can see, as the text is read, the word is highlighted. From this screen, you can also choose a single word to be read aloud. Student for pronunciation or clarification. There are also text options within the Immersive Reader. To see those, click on the A's in the upper right corner of the screen. Here you can adjust the size of the text within the reader, making it larger or smaller as necessary. You can also adjust the spacing between lines. By default, there is an extra space between the lines of text. However, you can turn that off so that there's more text on the screen at one time. You can change the font type between sans serif, serif, and comic sans fonts. And you can also change the background color of the screen. This is very important for a number of visual disabilities, and the options for your colors are many. So students can choose what works for them depending on their um, visual preferences, whether they have a disability or not. Now we'll take a look at the grammar options available within the Immersive Reader. To see those, you'll click on the magic wand in the upper right. And you'll see that you have a number of options to help with grammar. You can choose to turn on syllable spacing so that you can see where syllables are within a word. You can also choose to identify different parts of speech with a color. So for example, you could turn on the color for nouns. So now when you look at the text, all of the nouns appear in purple. You can change the color of each of the parts of speech if you wish. And you can turn on as many or as few of those as you'd like. You can choose all nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. And so now you can see a number of different colors through the text. This may be a bit distracting for students. So you may want to choose the particular part of speech that you're focusing on and keep the other text, the default black color. You can also choose to show labels. So you can show that the red font is for verbs and the gold for adverbs as we see here so that a student would remember what those colors indicated. Finally, we'll look at the reading preferences available within the Immersive Reader. To view these, click on the book icon in the upper right. And your first option is for line focus. When you turn this on, you can view the text one line at a time, three at a time, or five at a time. So when you turn the line focus on, the rest of the screen is blacked out and the line that you're reading is illuminated or highlighted. There's also a picture dictionary included with the Immersive Reader, which is by default turned on. The picture dictionary shows images for 
some words included within the text. So if we choose the word country and click on it, you can hear the pronunciation. Country. And you can also see images of what that word means. Some words don't have a picture included in the picture dictionary. Of course, all of the words I'm choosing now do. There we go. And so then they'll just have the option for the speaker with the pronunciation. Going back to our reading preferences, you can also choose to translate the document, which I think is really, really powerful. You choose the language that you'd like to translate to. So here I'll choose Chinese. And the default when you choose a language is by word. So here I can click on a word that I wanted translated. And now in addition to the pronunciation, you have the translation with an audio of the pronunciation and the images with the picture dictionary. You can also choose to translate the entire document. When you choose this option, it will translate the entire document to your chosen language and read the entire document in that chosen language. 什么是声? Additionally, it keeps the original text. So if you notice at the top, there is Chinese chosen, but you can click on original. So you would allow students to compare the words in their original language to the original text. So those are the main features of the Immersive Reader, which is found in Canvas as well as in most Microsoft products.